If you've got two VESCs, let's have a look. One, two. I haven't opened boxes for a while, so. Time to open. Okay, what have we got here? So, this was recommended to me by heaps of people, actually. Um, this is the Polar Pro filter kit. So there's a polarizing filter, neutral density filter, several neutral density filters, actually. Three stops, four stops, five stops, and then there's a polarizing neutral density filter which for me living near the water i think that might be nice i mean with with the harsh light reflecting off the ocean um yeah i think i think i'll get use out of that um if you don't know what a an nd filter does it basically it reduces the light entering into the camera now, why do you want to do that? Well, it's all got to do with the frame rates that the video is captured at. I'm talking about the shutter speed, more to the point. So, you don't want the shutter speed to be too fast. If it's too fast, that's when you can get jagged edges. You, you sort of want to slow the shutter speed down to about a point which is double the frame rate so let me say that again the frame rate is say if i'm shooting at 1080p at 60 frames a second my shutter speed to get smooth fluid motion should be at around 120 yeah it should be double your frame rate okay i assume they all go in there let's have a look at that Oh, so cleaning cloths or they're little bags, little bags. Well, that's, that's nice. Each one has a little bag. So I suppose if you didn't have this case, you can carry them all in a nice little bag. That's pretty nice, nice bag. I don't know, maybe you put it in the bag and in there. I doubt it. Let me just, how do I get it out of there without touching it? Now, does it actually have, ah, yes, ND8. Let's see. Okay, well, you know, maybe, Maybe that's meant to go in the bag. Um, if I put it in there, I don't know. Let's fold it like that and like that, maybe. Or do I just put them like that? Seems to stay in there. Mm. That'll do. Nothing worse than smudge. I hate smudging brand new lenses. This is the polarizing lens. If you, if you don't know what a polarizing lens is, it basically, you can rotate it, which I suppose when you're going to have it on a drone, you need to do that before it's flying. Um, and you rotate, rotate, that, rotate that until all of the harsh glare coming off the ocean is, is cut out. So actually, I think that I'll use that. Maybe tomorrow I'll get a sunset. Now, let's see if this case works. So they're all in there, shaking it around. Okay, they're all, yeah, okay. So that's so you can get your finger on it. Maybe they'll be better upside down. What do you reckon? Put them all upside down. There's a sticker, another sticker, we'll keep that. 
Okay, this one, I mean, this one's gonna be pretty goddamn exciting if it's what I think it is. I mean, it's well overdue, but I mean, fuck, what isn't overdue these days? I mean, literally everything is overdue. Can you see that? Looks like batteries. <laughs> what have we got here? Space Cell Pro. What the fuck happened there? These are the samples that I should have got a millennia ago. But due to aviation regulations. Okay, so that's the Space Cell Pro guys. It's, it's a battery that has its own hard case, hard shell. It's got the on off switch built in with your power gauge, your charge port there with a little uh, seal on it to cover it up. Um, now this is, this is just one of the prototypes so it doesn't have the seal around this edge, but you can see here the proper, the proper one has that rubber seal. Can you see that? Um, and that means you get a perfect seal around that edge. So when you put it down on any deck, any deck you like, you attach that to it. And I mean, yeah, then you've got your own pretty decent quality electric skateboard in a matter of minutes. I mean, it's, it just makes building a good quality skateboard at home really easy. A lot of vests come like this with the capacitors attached. So if you have the capacitors attached, you can see there's still room there for that. That's, that's not a problem. If you've got two vests, let's have a look. One, two. Um, you know, your receiver is going to have to fit over there. Your capacitor has room there. I mean, you can see that this has got a slight curve in it, as most decks have a slight curve in it. So it allows you to get that perfect seal on your deck. Everything's in there. You, now, do not use a flexible deck. I mean, this... This is just a, a shell to protect the battery. I mean, it's not a structural piece of plastic that's that's going to prevent the, the battery bending in half. If you put enough weight down on a flexible deck, this is gonna bend. I mean, you, you want a deck that doesn't flex. I mean, and when you're traveling at high speeds, really, why would you want a deck that flexes anyway? There's, there's all the cells under there. This is just a piece of foam. Uh, it's just gonna give a layer of protection between the cells and the deck. Cause there'll be a lot of vibrations there. I mean, you don't really want that rubbing on these wires. You know, the final one's gonna come in this beautiful shiny one um, with with the sealed edge. It's, it's gonna be nearly water well, it's going to be water resistant, that's for sure. does the letter say today? The Glen Rose Pitted Cast 
Reserve, imported exclusively for our members. We're honored to present the brand new, highly anticipated and extremely sought after Glen Rose Peated Cast Reserve. Available for the first time outside the UK and not available anywhere else in Australia. This exceptional 20 year old drum, 20 year old? Try it. Now, it's 9.20 p.m. So, taste of this. Nice little wooden cap. Let's just check this. There we go. What do you reckon of that? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, lemony. It's not really overpowering in the nose or anything. It's not like it's got this big flush of, I mean, yeah, it's, it's quite subtle in the nose. Mmm, citrus. I mean, for a 20 year old, it's amazingly smooth. I mean, it's just, it's mellowed out, I'd say, with, it, with age. Um, and I mean, it doesn't have any big, bold, outrageous character to it. It's just, it's mellow, citrusy and subtle with you know, smooth notes on on the nose and smooth on the tongue with a little bit of a tingle, like on the tip of the tongue. So, yeah, for a 20-year-old, um, yeah, not bad.